So 23 ABC is dedicated to helping individuals and businesses rebound. The Marriott Convention Center in downtown Bakersfield had to make significant adjustments to their staff during the height of COVID-19. And now the hotel says they are finally able to bring some of their staff back to work. 23 ABC's Alex Bell shares how the hotel is adapting to COVID-19 and the lessons they learned along the way. Alex. Yes, when you walk through the doors here at the Marriott Convention Center in downtown Bakersfield, as a guest, you see a lot of things that we've already seen before, such as these floor decals by the checkout, and you can already see people checking in, and the hand sanitizer and the plexiglass, and you can even see people continuing to wear those face masks. Now, what you see, though, as an employee when you walk through those doors is a lot of these hallways still look very empty, and that's because typically they staff over 100 people at any given time, but once COVID hit, they had to drop down to about 10 staff members. Now, I spoke to the general manager who said during a healthy economy, typically their occupancy is around 90%. But when COVID hit, they dropped down to 5%. So I spoke with the general manager and some of the staff members here about how they're trying to rebuild this family here, bring those jobs back, and how they're trying to rebuild their hope. COVID-19 has impacted numerous industries. With stay-at-home orders in place and bans on large gatherings, the Marriott Convention Center in downtown Bakersfield had to furlough all of their hourly employees. Almost everyone was furloughed immediately. Tony says having to reduce his staff has weighed on him. It does leave some negative effects um, in your soul. You know, you go home and say, what about those people that they need the income. On average, he says the hotel employs around 160 employees. But when the COVID-19 outbreak hit, the hotel was only able to keep on about 10 salary staff members, such as Denise Burns, the director of catering, and Myra Chavez, the director of sales, leaving them to learn new trades in their industry. I think my, my executive housekeeper had to, to show me it probably about three times. Folding towels, putting all the um, sheets through the dryer. Mopping the lobby floor to cleaning the gym and scrubbing toilets, you know, which I am not by all means above that. I will do whatever it takes to keep our staff and clients safe and healthy. Denise says it was a scary time to witness the hotel change almost overnight, especially seeing her friends and colleagues furloughed. Yeah, that makes me emotional because, um, you know, I've worked with these people for so many years and to see their lives change um, just literally overnight was was devastating. You know, walking through the hotel, seeing everything dark and, you know, usually we're high volume. We sometimes get a thousand people coming through. It was devastating. It was heartbreaking. But soon the hotel became a safe sanctuary for first responders. I've been hotel jumping for a while and then I landed here and the personnel here, the management staff, um, Tony, Denise, Myra made me feel so comfortable. They were just over the top welcoming. And almost overnight, the hotel sales numbers dropped to nearly nothing in a matter of a week. Philip E. Barney, CEO of Barney Hospitality LLC, who manages the property said. We just had in one week devastating cancellations. So it just hit us immediately. With conventions, weddings, and corporate meetings being rescheduled or canceled, Myra, a 14-year veteran of the hotel, says... We definitely are struggling a lot. We Our numbers went down a lot um, to where we have no groups, no conventions. Now that economies are reopening, the hotel has been able to bring back around 50 employees. Within the last month, I've been bringing people back just to do work that we can find for them to do that helps give them some stability. You know, just being able to see a lot of our staff members back, you know, restaurant, bartenders, our lounge employees, our housekeepers, you know, it, it makes me happy. Now, I spoke with Myra, who said that even though their sales and their occupancy are down, last month they were at about 10%, but this month they're hoping to be at over 20%. And if you look behind me, you can already see there are some guests already filling these hallways. But for now, reporting in downtown Bakersfield, I'm Alex Bell for 23BC News, connecting you.